Celsius Pro is a Swiss-based company specialized in weather protection. We're operative in three continents, in Australia, Europe and North America. And we're offering products to all companies, especially mid and small cap companies, that are in a weather dependent business. Weather certificates, our products help to mitigate financial losses due to adverse weather. If we look at weather and the decision every entrepreneur needs to take is basically, if you look at this decision matrix, good weather and bad weather, that's something you cannot influence. You just sit there and it happens. What you can influence is whether you hedge against bad weather or not. If you look at the four scenarios, uh, let's look at good weather. Without the cover, you haven't spent any money, you had ideal weather, everything's fine. Uh, with a cover and good weather, you actually spent the premium to avoid the downside of a potential bad weather. It didn't happen, so everything was fine except you paid the premium. Uh, you didn't get any in return. Let's look at bad weather. With the cover, bad weather happens, you get a compensation for bad weather, so you can stabilize your earnings, whereas if you decided not to take a cover, things can go really bad, and we don't know how bad they can eventually go. So that's basically then the decision of the entrepreneur to say, in which scenarios do I want to be? Do I want to spend a little premium to have an extra security? Or do I take a gamble on weather? Because I think weather is going to be good. Why should it be bad? Uh, and then see what happens. Let's go straight into uh, one of the most successful products we have in the construction industry. In the construction industry, most products we sell are frost day certificates. These products are straightforward and extremely simple. The frost day certificate is based on the measurements, all, all products are based on the measurements of the National Met Office. This particular one is based on the daily minimum temperatures measured by the, daily, uh, by the National Met Office. The aim is it pays out when there are above average number of frost days. So let's read the definition here. Under the certificate, the client will receive a fixed amount of, let's say, 10,000 euros for each frost day after, let's say, five days, that's a deductible of such days, up to a maximum of 100,000 euros during the period from the 1st of December till the uh, end of February. A frost day is defined as a day in which the daily minimum temperature measured by the National Met Office is below minus two, for example. So all these are variables that get put in and everyone can decide exactly what is important for them. The way we serve our clients is typically via an online price calculator. Of course, everyone can call us and explain exactly what their problem is, but we found that a lot of companies actually like to have an online calculator to play around and see what happens if I change the frost day from minus one to minus two, if I change the, the risk period, and so on, so what happens. So basically here in this pricing example, at the moment we have um, three water stations in Ireland. Um, why do we have three and not 50? Weather stations, basically we can only select weather stations that have a long historical data because we need to have this for the calculation of the risk, of course. Interesting here, the number of frost days that you experience over the last couple of years. The 25-year average uh, at Dublin is 22 over the winter season and 2009-2010 uh, you had 65. So. Uh, if you're in this business and you have an issue with frost days, this is something you should care about. So the risk period. As I mentioned earlier, the risk period is the period of the, is, are, are basically the cover days that you want to have. So if you pick something from 1st of December till the end of March, you can exclude uh, Christmas, Boxing Day and so on, that you really covered your working days. 
threshold. Threshold just defines the de a bad day for you. Let's keep that simple. Um, so if we define a threshold at minus one degree, it is lower than minus one degree. If it's minus one degree, it doesn't count. So if we look at the example here, uh, on the 3rd of December 2011, we have a temperature measurement of minus 1.7. That counts as a frost day. If you have uh, minus one, it doesn't count. Basically, at the end of the risk period, we count the number of frost days in your contract, subtract the own risk, and multiply by the payout per frost day. Uh, as just mentioned here, basically we give you the historical information on the number of bad weather events as you define them. We also have uh, on our website a statistics area, a weather statistics area, where you can look at all sorts of weather statistics for the weather station that we have online. The payout per critical day, quite often we get asked about, you know, what should I fill in there? What's the, what's the, what's the payout that makes sense? We always have to say, well, first of all, we are the product experts. You are the experts of your business. So you need to know how much you lose in, or with extra costs or foregone, foregone sales, depending on the industry. So that's really something you need to come up with. If it's 5,000 pounds or euros that you think uh, you lose per day, you can put in 5,000 euros. You can also put in 6,000 or 3,000. It really depends on how much. It's also a question on how much money you will spend in, in terms of premium. So you can play with these um, input numbers to, um, to get a result that basically fits your budget and your risk profile. If we look at the maximum payout, it's basically the payout per uh, critical day or bad weather event. Um, and uh, in, the, in the example here, if we had uh, 35 frost days during the period and <coughs> the risk of 5 frost days and the payout of 2,000 euros, you get 60,000 payout. Important, this is a big distinction between a, a weather certificate and the insurance products that you may know. This product is not related to actual damages you have. So it is not a claims-based product, but it is a purely index-based product. And um, if we're talking index-based, it's similar to if you think about the Dow Jones index or any index that you know from financial markets. We look at an index. Here the index is number of frost days colder than minus 5 at that weather station, minus 1.5 at that weather station during the period. We just look at the index and the index determines the payout. So nobody's going to come and see whether you actually have a project that you're hedging and whether you actually have a loss. We just look at the weather data of the National Met Office. How does this work? When do I buy cover? Well, basically, a lot of people think, oh, can I buy a cover for this weekend? No, that doesn't work. Why? Um, you can look at the weather forecasts and see, okay, it's going to rain or it's going to be cold. Uh, it's a bit too short notice. We wish we could accommodate for this, but uh, uh, then we need to take much more of the weather forecast into pricing and that's quite complicated. So basically, you need to buy a cover 20 days in advance. 20 days in advance is not a big deal because all our clients who are in a weather dependent business know way before that uh, when they have a period where they had weather risk or not. So they need, just need to make up their minds uh, early and then 15 days before start date is the latest payment date. So basically, kind of have a free option, you buy it online and then you could wait until uh, 15 days before when we need to get the payment. We don't chase people up that don't pay. The contract is only valid with the payment. Of course, we give them a call and say, hey, uh, we we're expecting your payment, is anything wrong? But if people say, oh, I've, I don't want to um, I don't want to pay, I don't want to uh, take the offer, then uh, that's fine. 
So basically here what it takes, um, pre tape dedication, people typically have not heard of this, so they need to know how it works, why it makes sense, brochures, online user guide and so on, and they need to get familiar with the online quoting tool. Then trade execution on the online quoting tool, but they can also call us and say we need to have something bespoke. For example, we have snow data in, in Ireland, we only have snow data for Dublin Airport. Uh, if a construction company is interested in a contract on snow cover, we can do that. They cannot do, themselves, cannot do it themselves on the online pricer, so they just call us and say this is the risk period, uh, this is what I'm looking to do, and then we come up with, uh, with suggestions. Celsius Pro, uh, we are specialized in structuring and issuing weather certificates. We do this in partnership with Swiss Re, the second largest reinsurance company. Why do we do this with Swiss Re? Swiss Re is one of the biggest players in the weather risk market. Uh, and they're in the market since inception. The market is relatively young, first transactions done in 97. Uh, Products are listed at the CME, the Chicago Merchantile Exchange, to, uh, since 1999. Swiss Re is in this market for the very big, typically for the very big utilities. This is where it all started. Uh, energy companies typically hedge weather risk, they hedge against the warm winter, because in the warm winter they sell less energy. And they sell, sell way less energy and that, that really hurts them. So this is... Uh, where these weather um, contracts started. They wanted to have something to compensate themselves against a loss or a reduction in sales during mild winters and in the States especially um, mild or cooler summers because they sell less power for, for air conditioning and cooling. So the partnership with Swiss Re, Swiss Re is still in the market, they, they just mainly serve very few and very large companies because typically as an insurance company you don't look after the small guys, uh, you just do the big, tree, uh, big tickets. And basically this is where our partnership works so well because we go after the middle market, we serve the middle market in an efficient fashion. The large agriculture producers in, in the Black Earth uh, area in Russia and Ukraine, so listed companies in the UK. We talk to them about weather risks, they say, yeah, it's fine. Um, this summer I talked to the CFO again and said, yeah, let's look at it after harvest. And I was talking to him about a, a rainfall hedge during harvest because you have the wheat downgrade. What happens? Uh, it rained excessively during harvest periods and they were actually short in uh, rapeseed harvest, they sold it forward and didn't um, harvest the quantity they were expected. Uh, so big trouble. It, and, and now, of course, they're very interested in talking. So you need to have <coughs> bad weather events typically till you look at these products more seriously because if weather is good, you think, well, weather is always going to be good and that's just not the case.